Okay, at this time, I'd like to have you join in uh, with our alma mater.
class, would you please be seated? Okay, now I'd like to call up on George Elitska for our opening. At this time, I'd like to ask anyone who would like to join me in a brief prayer for our graduates to please bow your heads. Dear Lord, I thank you for bringing all of us safely through 18 years of life and 13 years of school. I praise you that you've helped us to pass all of our classes, keep our grades up, and just that you've helped us to get through this tough senior year. I thank you for giving us our friends and our family who have helped us all the way through our years of school. And I pray that as all of us go out into the work world or to college or wherever we're headed, that you would give us many blessings and keep us safe. Amen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the commencement exercises for Admiral King High School's class of 1995. I'd like to thank everyone, parents, teachers, friends, and of course seniors, for being here this evening. Right now though, I'd like to take a few minutes just to talk to the class of 95. Seniors, we've only been out of school for a week now, but already I think we realize how different things are going to be. We won't go to the same old classes every day, or see the same old friends every day, or thankfully eat the same old cafeteria food every day. Now that we're all done here at Admiral King, though, something new and exciting lies ahead of all of us. Whether it's college, a new job, or the military, or something entirely different, as we go up into the real world, I think there's a very important commandment that we should all remember. Yes, it's found in the Bible, but no matter what your religious beliefs, it's something that everybody needs to hear, and it's only five words. Love your neighbor as yourself. Now you might ask, who's your neighbor? Well, it could be anyone, really. Maybe your boss, your parents, your 
college professors, even that guy who accidentally ran into you at Rini Rigo's, and yeah, even your brother and your sister. And what does it mean to love each of your fellow human beings as you love yourself? Just take a minute to think, would I like it if somebody did this to me? Before you crack on that girl who sits next to you in English 101 next year, think about how you would like it if somebody said something about you because of your funny clothes. Before you yell at your coworker at McDonald's this summer, think about how you would feel if somebody hollered at you just because you didn't hold the ketchup. Before you get behind the wheel after a couple beers, and this is the most important one, think about how you would feel to have a police officer come to your door and say, I'm sorry, ma'am, your son's been killed by a drunk driver. Just think, if only we students had followed this rule during the past school year, we wouldn't have had any fights or any students being rude to their teachers or any hurt feelings from someone being snubbed by their friends. Imagine what a difference we at Admiral King High School could make on our city and on our world. I have just one more thought to share with all of my friends in the class of 1995. Wherever you go and whatever you do, remember that there's an all-seeing, all-knowing, and all-caring God who's watching out for you. Remember that you can take your problems to him because he's always listening. To all of my classmates and to everyone here today, God bless you in everything you do. Okay, I'm asking uh, just a few housekeeping uh, duties here that uh, uh, for the audience to please uh, stay off the field for safety reasons and uh, you can pick up your loved ones or greet them going behind the south gate back to the corner. They'll be released from there after they uh, get their diplomas that's, uh, that are actually out there. So I'd appreciate that. At this time, I have a few people that I'd like to uh, introduce here that sits behind me and uh, as I call their name, I'd like to please have them stand and, and please withhold your applause until, I, until I've introduced them all. Mr. Ken Kramer, member of the Lorraine Board of Education. Mr. Nick Hutlock, Superintendent Schools. Mr. Raul Ramos, President of the Lorraine Board of Education. Mr. Mike Minnick, Vice President of the Board of Education. Dave Majeski, Assistant to the Superintendent. Dr. James Buford, Cluster Leader of Pupil Personnel Services. Mr. Jerry Kordelski, Elementary Cluster Leader, Mrs. Ann Jensen, Member of the Board of Education, and Mrs. Jermaine Jackson, our Dean of Students at Admiral King. Would you please welcome them by giving them a round of applause. <laughs> welcome to the I Admiral King High School Graduation Ceremony of 1995. This class seated before you represents the 31st class to graduate from this great high school. These students exemplify the results of the school years gone by as they have worked and studied, practiced and played, and grown mentally as well as physically. And now they are here, ready to begin their lives as members of the adult community. For some it will mean the world of work and the responsibilities of family living. For others it will mean further studies and more preparation. Whatever your future takes you, it is my sincere hope that you will look back on your years here as having prepared you to meet and deal with the challenges that life will present. On behalf of myself and the faculty and staff of Admiral King High School, I wish to each and every one of you the happiness of a productive life, the respect of your friends, and the love of your family. May the future be yours. The best of luck and congratulations to this great class of 1995. And now to the service plaque and honor graduates. Of all the honors this school can award to its members, none is considered more important than the recognition of being named to either the service plaque or being recognized as an honor graduate. It is a tradition to have the principal read the list of those students in the top 5% of their class in each category at commencement. There are numerous opportunities for young people to contribute to the operation of this school during their four-year high school career. They may earn service points by participation in music, athletics, dramatics, club publications, student council, teachers of office aiding, ushering, concession stand working, etc. Those graduating seniors who have all of their members of class have made the greatest contribution to the school will now be listed in numerical order ascending to the person who has the most service points. 
The students will stand as their names are read. I will ask the audience to withhold applause until all service plaque award winners are standing. The service award winners are Jeremy Reynolds, Nicole Savi, Michael Sestelli, Natalie Caserta, Lindsay O'Leary, Alan Tenario, Gina Ortenzi, Rosemary Giardini, Rebecca Lynn Major, Elizabeth Costco, and number one, Yvette Colon. May we have their applause. Please be seated. And now to the honor graduates, those scholars who have maintained the highest academic excellence during these four years. This is what education is all about. To have reached this high level of achievement, these seniors have made many sacrifices and have exerted much self-discipline. And we congratulate them for their willingness to give so much of themselves. Sharing this honor certainly are the families of these young people, for they have provided the proper environment within the home so that their children could concentrate on school work. Doubtless, mothers and fathers have made some sacrifices of their own, as they encourage their sons and daughters to do their very best. We are proud of those students whose names have just been read as the ones to be engraved on the service plaque, but we are doubly proud of those outstanding scholars whose names will go on the twin plaque to be displayed in the halls of Admiral King forever. The names of the honor graduates will also be given in numerical order, ascending to the student who ranks number one in this year's class. Will you please again withhold your applause until all students are standing? The honor graduates are Susan Freeman, Lindsay O'Leary, George Halitska, Nicole Savi, Michael Sestelli, Marco Rodriguez, Kelly Shu, Nicole Smith, Rebecca Major. Michael Pagan, and number one in this class, Alan Tenorio. They are receiving a special honor robe. Okay, please be seated. A question that is often asked is how well do students do who attend college in terms of receiving scholarships? This question will now be addressed. The scholarship list will include those scholarships already granted and not those that are still forthcoming. Congratulations to the recipients and please stand as your names are read. Will you again withhold your applause until all students are standing? The scholarship recipients in alphabetical order are Angela Addy, Kent State University Kent Honors College Scholarship, Nathan Buck, University of Detroit Mercy Insignia Scholarship from the University of Detroit, Carl Burkhart, Lorain County Community College, First Catholic Slovak Ladies Association Scholarship. Michael Duziak, Lorain Community College, Trustee Scholarship. Rosemary Giardini, Kent State University, Duzendon Scholarship. Joseph Gilks, Ohio State University, Young Scholars Scholarship. George Halitska, Moody Bible Institute, Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, John Mercer Langston Memorial Essay Scholarship. Angie Aima, Eastern Michigan University, Theater Faculty Service Award, Financial Aid Package. Brian Kerpix, Baldwin Wallace College, Baldwin Wallace Presidential Scholarship, the Baldwin Wallace Grant, Financial Aid Package. Elizabeth Costco, Bowling Green State University, Anthony Thomas Scholarship, Duzendon Scholarship, Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, and a Financial Aid Package. Rachel Kasai, University of Toledo, Alfred J. Memorial Scholarship, Financial Aid Package. 
Michelle Lawson, Cleveland State University, Cleveland State Freshman Scholarship, Echo Scholarship, Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, and a financial aid package. Christina Lynn, Lorraine Community College, Lorraine County Community College Presidential Scholarship. Rebecca Major, University of Dayton, Lorraine Community Foundation Scholarship, American Association of University Women's Scholarship, Anthony V. Thomas Scholarship, AMLA Scholarship, University of Dayton Presidential Scholarship. Crystal Maharaj, University of Toledo, Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, Financial Aid Package. Lindsay O'Leary, Denison University, Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, the Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, Denison Alumni Scholarship, Denison University Scholarship, Denison Book Grant, and a Financial Aid Package. Gina Ortenzi, University of Toledo, Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Memorial Scholarship. Michael Pagan, Ohio State University, Echo Scholarship, the University Scholarship, the Distinction Scholarship. Marco Rodriguez, University of Notre Dame, Anthony V. Thomas Scholarship, Holy Cross Award, Navy J ROTC Scholarship, Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, Irving Leibowitz Scholarship. Melissa Rodriguez, Lorraine County Community College, Lorraine County Community College Minority Incentive Scholarship. Julia Sagert, Denison University, Denison Alumni Award, Challenge for Tomorrow Scholarship. Nicole Savi, University of Toledo, Harry Tillotson's Academic Scholarship, Challenge for Tomorrow Scholarship, and a Financial Aid Package. Kelly Shu, Lorraine County Community College, Trustees Scholarship. Michael Sestelli, the College of Worcester, the College of Worcester Scholarship, Financial Aid Package. Nicole Smith, Ashland University, Ashland Presidential Scholarship, Athletic Soccer Scholarship, and a Financial Aid Package. Nelson Soto, University of Cincinnati, Echo Scholarship, Financial Aid Package. Alan Tenorio, Stanford University, the Stanford Scholarship, the Echo Scholarship, and the Lorraine Foundation Scholarship. Christina Velez, Lorraine County Community College, the Echo Scholarship. Ladies and gentlemen, standing before you represents $653,705. A round of applause. Okay, class be seated. I'd now like to call upon our superintendent, Mr. Nicholas Hotclock, to the introdu introduction of our class speakers. Before we begin, uh, this is the third graduation this week, and I've done just done a little math in my head. The graduating seniors in Lorraine City have received a total of over two million dollars in scholarships. Uh, I think we should all be real proud of that. You're you're the class that pushed us over the two million. Okay. This week marks the 116th year that the Lorraine community, the seniors, their teachers, and their parents celebrate the tradition of high school graduation. This ceremony is about celebrating both the roots which the citizens of Lorraine through its schools have given to each and every one of its students and the wings which we force them to use as they leave the comforts and security of this community. The roots are built of the memories of the relationship you've had growing up in Lorraine, both painful and wonderful, which will sustain each of you through your life's journey. No matter where you go or what you do the rest of your life, you will always share this common set of roots and have these memories of growing up in Lorraine to comfort you. While part of this ceremony allows us to pause and reflect upon the, these memories, Today's ceremony is also about saying goodbye. And just as the mother robin every spring gently pushes her offspring from the nest, so too do we, by this ceremony, give you your wings to leave the comfort and protection of the school, your friends, your home, and your parents, and take flight into the uncertainties of life far from your roots. Echoing the sentiments expressed by others over 115 years of graduations in Lorraine, I join with all those assembled here today in praying as you take flight and as our hearts tremble a little bit with apprehension. Go well, our children, go well. It has always been a tradition for the superintendent to introduce the class speakers. They each will speak to you of our roots, our memories, 
and offer some advice on the flight each of you are about to begin. Our first speaker is Rebecca Majors. Rebecca Major is the daughter of Ron and Sharon Major. Rebecca ranks number three in her graduating class. She's been very involved in school activities. She's been a member of the varsity tennis and softball, participated in the ski club, the National Honor Society, the Dean's Advisory Board. She's participated in most of our school musicals. She's a member of the Foreign Language Club, Student Council, and has been a representative on the Illyria Chronicle Teen Board. Rebe Rebecca has, has been elected the president of the National Honor Society, and that is the reason she is speaking this evening. She's been a four-year Academic Banquet Award recipient, an outstanding Junior Cleveland Technical Society member, a Hugh O'Brien Youth Representative. She was a second team All-Ohio Scholar Athlete in tennis, and second team All-Ohio coaches in tennis. Rebecca plans to attend the University of Dayton and pursue, it, uh, pursue a degree in banking and financing. Uh, she has been awarded the Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, the American Association of University Women Scholarship, and the Presidential Scholarship from Dayton. You please join me in welcoming Rebecca Major. Time goes by so fast. It seems like only yesterday that we were all hugging our mothers and fathers and begging them not to make us go to that dreadfully scary place called kindergarten. Though at first it was very strange to be in such a foreign place with so many people of the same age, it quickly became very routine wake up early, go to school, then hurry home to watch Bert and Ernie while eating SpaghettiOs and animal crackers. This first year was filled with many new experiences, playing kickball at recess, finger painting, sitting on the alphabet covered carpet during story time, and beginning the basics of school, those being reading, writing, and arithmetic. By the end of the school year, it was very difficult to say goodbye to all of our school friends, but yet it was comforting to know that we would see each other the next year. It was also very exciting to find out who is our next teacher and which of our friends we would be with for the following year. During our elementary school years, we all began to take our first steps towards becoming who we are today. It was at that time that we began to make new friends, many that we are still close with today. It was also that time when we began to take dance, singing, violin, or even karate lessons. Many others of us had our first brushes with organized sports whether it be basketball, baseball, softball, or soccer. Some of these interests have stayed with us throughout our lives, though others we may have done only a few years or a few weeks in some cases. Whatever our individual situation was, we were all beginning to find our own niche in the grand scheme of life. Our elementary school years were filled with very fun and safe times, but towards the end, we were all itching to get out. By the time sixth grade rolled around, we couldn't wait to start our new adventure. How exciting it was that we could change classes, and teachers for that matter. We even got our own lockers. Seventh grade was a chance to join new clubs, play in the band, sing with the choir, or play school sports. It was exciting to find opportunities to have fun in school that really had nothing to do with school. Perhaps the most exciting part of seventh grade was the fact that we began to form our own special group of friends. We became close with people who shared similar interests with us. For the first time, we were friends with people because we wanted to be, and not because we were just in the same class. It was with this close-knit group of friends that we shared many more new experiences. Some of these were very traumatic. Who can possibly forget their first boy-girl party or first dance, boys on one side, girls on the other? Though we soon adjusted, and most of our experiences were worry-free and just tons of fun. Our time in junior high was short. It seemed as though in the blink of an eye, it came to an end. Before we knew what happened, it was once again time to say goodbye to what was so familiar to us and prepare for another new adventure. With so much behind us, it was time to move on to bigger and better things. It was not necessary to dwell on what we had already accomplished, 
but instead to improve upon it. This attitude can be applied to any transition period. Looking back on yesterday is important because it helps to keep the present in perspective. But as Forrest Gump's mother told him, it is necessary to put the past behind you before you can move on. So as we move on in life, we must remember yesterday, live for today, while dreaming for tomorrow. Our second speaker is Alan Tonorio. Alan is the son of Hugo and Dolores Tonorio. Alan has been selected by the faculty to speak this evening. He ranks number one in his graduating class. His activities while in school have included part being a member of the concert and the marching band, the academic challenge team where he was the team captain. And I also think we won a lot of awards with that academic challenge team, right? Yeah. He was a member of the Chamber Choir, the Foreign Language Club, SAD. He participated in the school musicals all four years at Admiral King. He's a member of the Dean's Advisory Board, and he's been a member of the National Honor Society for three years. He's been named a National Hispanic Scholar. He re he's received an academic letter at Admiral King for four consecutive years. He's the recipient of the American Society of Medals, Academic Achievement Award, and the Phi Beta Kappa Award. Alan will attend Stanford University in California and major in material science engineering. He has been awarded a full academic scholarship to Stanford as well as the ECHO Award and the Lorraine Foundation Scholarship. Please join me in welcoming Alan Donorio. When we began our lives at Admiral King High School four years ago, we all entered with a certain bravado and an I already know everything attitude about life. All the while feeling a little overwhelmed and a little scared that we wouldn't make it through the long journey that lay ahead of us. We soon discovered, much to our dismay, that, no, that we didn't know everything, but also that nobody else did either. And so we pushed on with that knowledge, making new friends along the way and sometimes losing a few old ones. With these friends, we took on everything from algebra and biology to calculus and physics. And amidst all of our endless study, we found time to share some of the greatest and worst times of our lives. From triumphant victories to heartbreaking defeats, we were always together somehow in the end. We became a family, one that can never be taken away from us, and one that can never quite be replaced. Graduates, look around you. These are the people who have made Admiral King a home for the past four years, a home you can always come back to when the real world becomes a little too hectic. As you look, maybe you see your first love sitting amongst the many faces, even though that person may have never really known about it. Maybe you see somebody who could always make you smile, no matter how depressed you were, or who always had a dry shoulder for you to cry on whenever you needed it. Maybe you see someone who, went, who you went out with on the weekends, endlessly driving around, looking for other people who had nothing better to do than drive around themselves. Maybe you see someone with whom you would study all night, never quite getting around to cracking open a book. Maybe you see someone who always gave you advice about everything and anything, who always pushed you, even when you didn't want to be pushed. Or maybe you see someone you never really talked to, but whom, without, things wouldn't seem the same. No matter what you see, however, know that these have been, and will be, some of the best days of your lives. They were days of great discovery, great change, days of great joy and sorrow, and days of hopes and dreams that don't seem so far away anymore. But now, these days are coming to an end, and a new beginning is upon us, as we each make our separate ways in our own endeavors. So, as you look out at the crowd today and see the tears flowing from your family's faces, don't be afraid to cry as well. Cry because you're about to finish something that's taken over a decade's work to accomplish. Cry because you're exhausted and just happy that everything's almost over with. Cry because you see your family's glowing faces and how proud they are of you. Cry because you already miss your friends who won't be leaving for another few months. Or cry just because there's nothing really left to do. 
So, if you should ever slip and fall when reaching for those stars, just remember the people in your days at Admiral King, and you'll never stay down for long. Our third speaker is Rachel Cousset. Rachel is the daughter of George Cousset and Rebecca and Scott Dickerhoff. Rachel is the president of Students Against Drunk Driving. She's a member of Student Council, the National Honor Society, the Dean's Advisory Board, captain of the varsity soccer team, and elected by the senior committee to speak this evening. Rachel has been a three-year participant and award winner at the Academic Banquet. For four years, she's been named as who, who, Who's Who among American high school students. Rachel plans to attend the University of Toledo, where she will major in physical therapy. Rachel has been awarded the Alfred J. Lozier Memorial Scholarship. Please join me in welcoming Rachel Cousset. Although it may not seem like it, to me or to my fellow classmates, today is the day we graduate. It's a time for smiling at all the things we've done in the past and moving on with the life we've only just begun. The door has now been opened and we are free, free to decide how many steps we take and where we choose to stop along the way. There are so many opportunities to take advantage of and so many decisions to be made. The past 17 or 18 years, has given us the foundation to be able to take advantage of these opportunities and to make these decisions. It is now time to do things on our own without continuous help from parents, friends, teachers, and counselors. It is time to take responsibility for our own actions. We can no longer rely on others to pick up the pieces for us. We must now take what we've learned and put it into practice. We need to look inside ourselves and begin to create our own destinies to see how our changing lives fit into this rapidly changing world. No matter what kind of changes we are about to face, we must face them with a positive attitude. Seeing things from a negative point of view only makes things worse. Sometimes adjusting to change is the hardest part, but if you keep your mindset on what you want to accomplish, you will be able to reach all of your goals no matter how far off they seem. With graduation upon us, we must now make the final decision as to which direction to go with our lives. Some of us will go on to college, some will go into the service, and some will search for employment. Whichever route you choose to take, be determined to do the best you possibly can. Take pride in everything you do and you will be a success. Success is not necessarily having the highest position or being recognized for what you do. It is knowing that you've done the best that you possibly could have done. As a tribute to our parents, loved ones who are with us tonight, and to those who are with us in spirit, I would like to quote a rather distinguished gentleman, Winston Churchill, who said, the further back we look, the further forward we are likely to see. My wish for us tonight is to use the wisdom we have gathered so when our vision becomes cloudy and our dreams and goals are further challenged, let us always remember to look back so that we are forever able to look forward. Standing here before you, I now proudly present the Admiral King High School graduating class of 1995. At this time, at this time, I'd like to introduce to the audience, as well as our students, a long-awaited individual. <laughs> I, I know you're excited. 
uh, as I am, but the more excited are our students, all right? And I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce the next individual who our students certainly are looking forward to meet here very shortly, and that is our Mr. Ken Kramer, a uh, member of the Lorraine Board of Education, and he's presently completing his eighth year, and we're real proud to have him here to pass out our diplomas uh, this evening. And at this time, Mr. Kramer. Graduates, parents, and friends, as a member of the Board of Education, I have the distinct honor this evening of speaking to you graduates on behalf of 70,000 other citizens of Lorraine who don't have this opportunity. All 70,000 of us have one message for you as you leave Lorraine Admiral King. We have invested an awful lot in you. We have helped pay the taxes that brought you the last 13 years of your education. We have applauded your accomplishments as you sang in the choir, acted in plays, or produced your school newspaper and yearbook. We cheered you from the stands at your athletic events and listened to Jim Allen describe your winnings and losses. Whether you realize it or not, you had 70,000 other people rooting for you to pass not only your classes, but also the state proficiency test so that you may be here this evening. So we here in the city of Lorraine feel we have a definite connection to you this evening. We are proud of where you've been and what you have accomplished this evening and the right to be here this evening. But the one message that we all want you to take with you as you celebrate the success of the last 13 years of public education is continue to succeed. For our part, whether you realize it or not, we will keep on rooting for you just, have we, just as we have up to this day. Our financial investment and our emotional investment in your needs to be paid back, not in dollars, but only by your continuing accomplishments. Whether you are entering the service going to college, or getting a job or raising a family. Our success as a city is tied to your success in life. Just as we share in this graduation ceremony, we will continue to share in all your victories throughout your lives, no matter where you are or what you become. We believe in you, continue to succeed. And now, by the power granted to the Board of Education by the State of Ohio, and on behalf of the Lorraine City Board of Education, I hereby declare that the members of the class of 1995 of Lorraine Admiral King High School have met all the graduation requirements of the State of Ohio and of the Lorraine Board of Education, and hereby entitled to the diploma of graduation of Lorraine Admiral King High School, class of 1995. Thank you. First graduate will be Jennifer Patterson. Jesse Catalano. Brad Alflin. Chastity Allen. Erica Anderson. Marvin Atkinson. <laughs> Angela Addy, receiving an honors diploma. <laughs> Jose Baez. <laughs> Lee.
Wendy Bond. Daniel Baird. Juan Ballard. Jason Bernard. Christine Bartell. Mark Bates. Joe Ballou. David Bernal. Dominic Bernal. Zachary Byers. Andre Blakely. David Blazina. Bradley Bombeck. Louis Bonilla. Joseph Bazoki. Nathan Buck. Carl Burkott. Stacy Burnsworth. Sharika Cameron. Dominic Cottarelli receiving the honors diploma. <laughs> Natalie Caserta. <laughs> Isaac Church. <laughs> Daniel Centron. <laughs> Yvette. Cologne. Anthony DiTilio. Michael Duziak. Danica Durr. Miles Easton. Lamont Fenderson. Chris Ferenzi. Chris Fijeda. Susan Freeman receiving the honors diploma. Richard Gerber. <laughs> Rosemarie Giardini. <laughs> Joseph Gilks. <laughs> Dave Gillis. <laughs> Summer. Gordon, Sadie Green, Amity Griggs, David Grumbos, Herbert Hagwood. George Halitska receiving the honors diploma. Latoya Hall.
Hallie Halstead. Jason Bowens. Sandra Hernandez. Michael Hanneberger. Christopher Hughes. Allison Hutz. Darren Hilton. Angela Aima. Dennis Jackson. Jason Jackson. Joel Giacovetti. Gretchen James. Eric Jankowski. Jonathan Johnson. Allison Castle. Jacqueline Castle. Brian Kerpix. Wendy Kistner. Dennis Kachurin. Elizabeth Costco. Rachel Cassay. Judy Lam. Michelle Lawson. Jessica Lees. Christina Lagarde. Cheryl Linthal. Shari Little. Andre Laurie. Christina Michelle Lynn. Daniel Madden. Rebecca Major receiving an honors diploma. Tahira Mahan. Crystal Maharaj. Christopher Mayer. Carolyn Majeski. Elvis Maldonado. Raji Matthews. Julie Miller. Michelle Monsalon. Darius Moreland. Christina Mato. Sergio Muenio. James Nilsson. Martin Nieves III. Isaac Nieves Jr.
Lindsay O'Leary receiving the honors diploma. Lydia Ocasio. Gina Artenzi. Luis Ortiz. Michael Pagan receiving the honors diploma. Michelle Pagan. Leticia Palos. Tammy Parsons. Michelle Pollock. Jason Pakosik. Lynette Phillips. Joy Pop Rock. Stephen Prieto. Mabel Ramos. Rachel Weikert. Jeremy Reynolds. Domingo Rivera. Marco Rodriguez receiving the honors diploma. Melissa Rodriguez. James Roman. Julie Sagert. Alfred Santana. Nicole Savi receiving the honors diploma. <laughs> Kelly Shu receiving the honors diploma. <laughs> Michael Sistelli receiving the honors diploma. <laughs> Opal Sherman. <laughs> Jeremy Short. Amy Siegfried. <laughs> Linda Scaleric. <laughs> Tanya Screpich. <laughs> Stephen Smarr. <laughs> Camilla Smith. Monica Smith. Nicole Smith receiving the honors diploma. Nelson Soto. Keith Spartano. Christine Stamper. Mark Stavesky. Nakima Stewart. Kimberly Stokes. Strouser. Michael Taliano. Alan 
Tenorio receiving the honors diploma. Jeff Tershak. Toro Brando Torres Kevin Turton Christina Velez Christopher Vitale Robert Ryrick Michael White Kunta Whitfield Tamika Whitfield Jesse Wilcox Dantia Williams Clyde Wint Carrie Witt Jane Winnett Stacy Wolf Carol Yee and Jana Zemel We present to you the class of 1995 Okay, at this time, I'd like to call upon our senior choral members. Class be seated.
Class, please stand for our recessional. 